everybody, I'm Revolver Man, and this is my first wire mod tutorial video. I'm here with my buddy Schwab who will point out anything that I do wrong and yell at me for it. Alright, today we're going to learn the wire mod basics. Wire mod is a system that uses inputs and outputs to control things such as turrets, holographics, or pretty much anything that you want. Today we're going to make a wire mod ranger based turret, so whenever anybody walks past a beam, it will shoot them. To get started, you're going to need to get a base. For the base that we're going to use today, we're going to use Phoenix Stormer's Premium Models Construct. We're going to use the 1x1 one one plate. Now we're going to go ahead and shift it into place here, just like that, and freeze it. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to go to Wire-Detection, and you want to select Ranger. You want your range to be about 500. Default to zero checked, show beam checked, and output distance checked. And then you want to place it in the center of the plate. When you place the ranger, you will see that it has a beam coming out of it. The way a ranger works is anything that's in that beam, it will output the distance that it is from the ranger to the object that has been placed in front of that beam. Now we're going to go ahead and spawn a wire turret, which you can find under wire physics. You want to set your damage to 100, your bullet force to about 500. Now do remember that uh, some admins don't like it when you use the shoot sound, such as zap or anything like that. So it's best to make your shoot sound no weapon. Make that a habit. Now go ahead and put it in the plate right here, right below the ranger. Now do note that when turrets spawn, they are not exactly dead on to where you spawn them but that does not matter, that's just the model that's not centered. The turret itself will actually fire from where you placed it. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and make this so that you can fire the turret. Alright, to make the turret fire, it has to have an input of 1, as we said in the turret options. But since when we place something in front of the ranger, such as my buddy Swab here, we place him in front of the ranger, It outputs that he is 91 point something away, but that's not going to work because that's not a one input. So what we're going to do is we're going to make use of the sign chip, which you can find under Wire Gates Arithmetic, right here, and we're going to use the sign negative one zero one gate. Spawn it right next to our ranger. What the sign gate does is if any value that comes out of whatever it's attached to is positive, it will return a one. If it's negative, it will return a negative one. If it's a zero, it will return zero. The point in that is that if nothing is in the beam, it will output zero and the turret will not fire. But if something walks into that beam, it will output one and the turret will fire. Now to wire this up, we're going to use wire-tools. Use our wire tool. Now the way the wire system works is you wire what needs info to what gives the information. So we want the turret to fire when the sign gate is outputting one which would be coming from the ranger. So we want our turret to fire when our sign gate is outputting one which would be the value of the ranger. So we go turret to sign gate, sign gate to ranger. And now whenever our buddy Swab here walks right in front of the beam, guess what happens to him? Come on Swab. And that is our first basic wire mod tutorial. Thank you for watching. Check out our server, Gary's Mod Addicts, whenever you're on Gmod.